This is the first part of a lecture on um, skeletal muscle and aging from October 21st, 2020. And the main objective of this lecture is to just describe how um, skeletal muscles are organized in their contractile units, which are known as sarcomeres. Right? And so the human body has 640 different skeletal muscles that make up about 40 to 50% of our body weight. And the main functions of skeletal muscle are movement, um, as well as stability, right? So maintaining our balance and posture. And therefore, any age-dependent changes that occur in skeletal muscle can affect both our movement and stability and result in losses of locomotion, um, balance, as well as kind of fine motor movements or dexterity. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, how age-dependent changes in skeletal muscle can lead to these defects. Um, but in order to really understand how age changes skeletal muscle, it's first necessary to understand how skeletal muscle is organized, how it contracts, um, and how it's innervated and regenerated. And that's what this lecture is going to focus on um, in multiple parts, right? And so we're going to start with how skeletal muscle is organized, right? And so in a muscle, <coughs> there are many muscle cells, which are known as fibers. And each of these muscle fibers is a multinucleated cell that contains many um, kind of specialized organs, organelles, called myofibrils. And each of these myofibrils contains uh, sarcomeres, which are the contractile units of muscle, and they're made up of two filaments, an actin myofilament and a myosin myofilament. Right, and so muscles are made up of muscle fibers or muscle cells, and inside those muscle fibers are bundles of myofibrils. And inside each of these myofibrils is are a series of sarcomeres, which are the contractile units. And the sarcomeres are made up of actin and myosin. And we're going to look more specifically at a sarcomere and its organization <coughs> for the next couple of slides. Right, and so as I said, a sarcomere is the contractile unit of muscle. And it's made up of two types of filaments. Actin, or thin filaments, um, and myosin, or thick filaments. And so actin is a globular small protein <clears throat> that can assemble into a thin filament that actually is polarized or has a both negative and positive end. And myosin molecules, in particular the myosin 2 <clears throat> that makes up um, these thick filaments in muscle cells, are organized as dimers or sets of two with two heads and two tails that wrap around each other. And each of these heads has what's known as ATPase function, or the ability to hydrolyze ATP into ADP and inorganic phosphate. And so the image in B is just one myosin dimer, <clears throat> but these myosin dimers can um, come together, and about two to 300 of them will come together to form a myosin filament. <laughs> and that's all directed by their tails kind of binding together. You can see the many different heads here. And that makes this thin actin filament and a thick actin filament. Or, and a thick myosin filament. I'm sorry. <coughs> and the sarcomere extends from this Z disc in green here to the next Z disc. Or in this image here, from Z disc to Z disc. The Z discs mark the kind of delineation of one sarcomere. And you can see the thick filament myosin darkly staining here, and the thin filament actin lightly staining here, or the thick filament in red in this image, and the thin filaments in blue. Right? And so you can imagine that muscle contraction is basically a concerted contraction of millions and millions of sarcomeres within myofibrils at the same time, or a shortening of these sarcomeres. Z-disc 
coming closer to Z-disc. And the sarcomere getting shorter and shorter, as well as this one, as well as this one, right? All at the same time. And that's what leads to the muscle contraction. Right, and so you can visualize that a little bit here. You have two Z lines demarcating the ends of the sarcomere. You have the thick myosin filaments in the center, the thin filaments of actin in red. <coughs> and as muscle contracts, as you can see in the GIF here, myosin heads are pulling the actin towards the center of the sarcomere. And these Z lines on the outside or Z-discs are getting closer to the center of Z-disc. And that sarcomere is shortening. And then when the muscle relaxes, it can extend back out. Contracts, and the sarcomeres all shorten together, and that leads to muscle contraction. And then the next portion of the lecture, we're gonna talk about how these filaments actually slide um, and the molecular mechanism for how muscle contracts within the sarcomere.